Greetings and salutations. I am your humble Adobe instructor, AJ Wood, and you're watching episode number 22 of I Create Content. Hey, it's Monday. Appreciate you guys tuning in. If you caught last Friday's episode, we were talking about JPEG proof sheets inside of Lightroom. Before I get started today, just a quick announcement. Uh, this Saturday, August 6th, is going to be part two of my Lightroom course series. We'll be focusing on the develop module, so there's still time, uh, still time to sign up. Feel free to go to meetup.com slash DFWAUG. Have any questions, just go ahead and hit me up on the sign up form. I'll be happy to answer them offline. So today we're going to take a look at Lightroom. Uh, what we're going to be looking at is just some quick tips regarding the identity plate. So let's go ahead and jump in. You can see on the screen in front of you, I've got Lightroom open, and you may notice that my identity plate identifies this as AJ Wood, and it's Lightroom 3. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose Lightroom and go to the identity plate setup. I'm gonna move this on screen and zoom in. Now you might be asking, what in the world do I wanna use a custom identity plate for? Well, in my case, I'm using it as branding. If you're actually using Lightroom as a presentation device, perhaps you're showcasing your images to potential clients, might be kind of nice to actually put your studio name, or better yet, you can use a graphic identity plate and put your studio logo there inside of Lightroom. The other thing I like to use it for is a way to identify multiple catalogs. So I'm gonna make a quick change and I want you to see the true name of this catalog is actually 2011. So I use the identity plate to show me which catalog I'm in because I do happen to work in multiple catalogs. So if you wanted to create a custom identity plate, here's how you do it. You can just go ahead and type on the screen. So I might say that this is 2011, we'll just call it new images. If I wanted to change the colors, I could highlight the text, click the color box, go ahead and just pick a different color. I also have the ability to customize the colors for the library and develop and all my other modules in Lightroom. So if I wanted a custom color of blue, you can go ahead and pick that. And now you can see I'm customizing the interface. I can save this off as a preset. So I could just put here, demo presentation. So I'll go ahead and I'll hit save. Go ahead and click OK. Now you can see I have this branded catalog. If I go to the file menu and open a different catalog, you can see when it opens, take just a second, new catalog comes up, it actually has a different identity plate. So this is just a quick tip. You can use identity plates to identify the catalogs you're working with. You can also use the identity plates to brand them when you're presenting to other clients. So it's a quick tip, it's Monday. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it if you subscribe to the YouTube channel. You know where to send me comments. It's gonna be on Facebook, on Twitter, on Google+. Hey, you guys have a wonderful afternoon and I'll see you on Wednesday.